you legitimately just can't make this up. We know why the green monster disappeared for a little bit off of Copart's site now. It's not good. <laughs>
And I can understand the bank being upset. You have mailed out a title. You don't mailed out the letter of guarantee because you think the insurance company is going to pay you. And you've got all of these assurances from all of these higher ups at USA that you're not going to get screwed. I understand why the bank could be mad. You would understand that too, right? But we still have the instance of that big check going to Copart for my car. <laughs> I told you I was petty, right? See, see, here's the thing. Don't fuck with me because I'm petty too. And I've been under, I didn't understand, you know, my, buddy, my people at Copart have been calling me and saying, hey, are you coming to retain this vehicle? Like we got the title for it and it's paid. So I was like, so for y'all that were asking, why did the green monster get pulled? Well, because USA fucked up. <laughs> now, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Should I be petty? Should I be petty and tell Cole Park, yeah, pull it for me. Bring it out front. Give me the title. Give me the car. And take the car home. And be petty. Should I do that? Now, I know you're going to say, well, TK, then they're not going to pay the bank. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's, you don't think I would go pick the car up until that was done, right? No. I'd wait. But when I'm getting phone calls from Copart, and it's not my local Copart, it's literally corporate, and, they're, and they don't know that it's me that they're talking to, right? They're just looking at a name on an account. They had no idea. And they're just like, yes, sir, um, we noticed that your vehicle is paid off and the title has been sent to us. Did you want to retain the vehicle? Huh? Do I want to? Hell yes, I want to. What? Wait a minute. This is what I didn't understand. And I was trying to reach out to USAA. <laughs> I couldn't get any of the people that I normally speak to. So I finally reached out to the PR person that I've dealt with there for over a year. I have a good relationship with her. And she said, oh, no. <laughs> Insert the oh, no music. She said, oh, no. Uh, yeah, we fucked up. Oh, or you mean... The agent that was over my case that's been petty this entire time fucked up. That's who fucked up? Yeah, I know. It was on purpose. But, see, and here's the other thing. The agent that was over, or the person that was handling my claim, isn't even in the, the vandalism department. They're in, like, the theft department. Wasn't even supposed to be handling my shit. According to what other people at USA told me. And now this error by her could cost USA, like, I don't know. 40 something thousand dollars <sighs> so let me know should i be petty petty i mean do, do i do i break out the monocle do i gotta go full teddy on him do i gotta go full 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 petty roosevelt on him or should i should i go petty pendergrass on him and just seeing how much of an L they're about to hold. Now, let me explain to you why I'm also at this point with my insurance company. And it's because there's like good people at this company. And then there's just fucking imbeciles at this company. And I'm just going to be honest, like just fucking retards. All right. The people that actually make some of the decisions on your claim, whether a vehicle is totaled or not. And those are actually pretty solid people from what I've met. And I've met several of them in person now. The people that are just number crunchers that look at the screen and don't know what the fuck is going on, they're just idiots. And I'm sorry. It just... <laughs> the, the actions speak for themselves. But the biggest issue for me is, and you guys are probably finding this out now, is, you know, my truck is totaled. All right, the truck is gone. You've now paid off my truck. The funny part is, you lost the truck. The truck was supposed to go to Copart. Um... And was being transported from the body shop to Copart. Now all of a sudden, and it, we'll, add, we'll talk about this in the truck's video, but it's gone. It's disappeared. Nobody knows what the fuck it is. So we've had to replate, report the plate lost or stolen. And USA cut a check to the bank. Truck's off, completely gone. <sighs> Doesn't show up anymore. But my car is still there. And that was done way before the truck. So you can understand why I'm a little upset or aggravated about the situation. And why I'm thinking about, well, hey, you already paid Copart for it. I know you now issued a check via FedEx for the car. Maybe I should go retain the vehicle. It would be petty. I could do it. I could do it today. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Anyways, the reason why I'm being petty is because they're they're now messing around with me on numbers, and it's a very small number that we're arguing over, and it's going to cause me to basically we're going to talk about that in 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 that video. So if you haven't gone back and seen the video on the truck, I, I definitely recommend you go back and see that. But I'm basically going to institute a clause that you have in your policy, which allows me to get an independent appraiser to look at the vehicle. And since, you know, we had the settlement, you know, the vehicles have all gone up again. Dodge, Chrysler, FCA, Stellantis, whatever the fuck you want to call them, has been shut down. They're not manufacturing any more Rebels right now. Um, in fact, looking at just the inventory around the country, they are almost in fucking possible to get. And in fact, used ones from 20 and 19 are selling for more than you can order one for right now. Hmm. So... We'll get into that, you know, if you haven't seen that video, go go check it out. And I get into all the specifics. I don't want to hold you guys up here, but that is just a, a shit show. But anywho, what should I do with the Challenger? Should I be a petty, petty, petty son of a bitch? Now, I know someone's going to say, well, TK, isn't that like stealing? No, nope. I'm being called and asked if I want to retain the vehicle. And if you're going to ask me if I want my car, sure, I'll take it. And if you're a dumbass... And you paid for the car to go part instead of paying the bank. You're an idiot. You get to figure that out. Now, of course, I'm not a dick. I probably, I probably would pick up my car, do some more content to be like, hey, I got my car. And then just squeeze. And then I would retain the vehicle and put it in my fucking garage. Until I got a personal call from whoever it was that fucked up my claim. And had me sitting here for the last 11 days thinking that you paid the bank for the fucking car and you didn't. And then when I got a personal apology, maybe, just maybe, I'd turn the vehicle over. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I would. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know you're going to say, TK, you're being extra petty right now. Yeah. No, I am. 100%. But, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Unbelievable. Never thought I'd be doing another video about this shit show. What the